So, you want to know how to sell excess electricity from your solar panels. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about solar buyback programs and how you can use solar power to completely wipe out your electric bill. The smarter way to go solar. Now, in today's video, we're talking about how to sell excess solar electricity. And really, this all comes down to solar buyback programs or net metering programs. Now, when we talk about a net metering program, what we mean is that your relationship with the electric company becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, you can directly power your house using solar panels, and all of your excess electricity can get sold back or sent back to the power company for credits on your account. And so then during the evening hours, when the solar panel are no longer producing, you can pull electricity back in from the power company using the credits that you accrued during daylight hours. Now, ideally, if your utility has a good buyback program, you're going to get a one-for-one -one buyback rate or, or a one-for-one -one net metering rate, meaning that for every kilowatt hour of electricity you send them during daylight hours, you can pull that kilowatt hour back in during the evening at a full one-for-one -one price credit. Now, the way this works is using what's called a grid tie inverter. All solar power systems that are hooked up to your home's electrical panel or hooked up for selling back to the power grid have some sort of an inverter in the system. And what the inverter does is it converts direct current, DC power, that comes directly off the solar panels into alternating current power to match the voltage and frequency of the electric grid. You see, direct current is most commonly used in portable devices. In fact, most of our home consumer electronics internally are direct current devices, DC constant voltage. But the electric grid is wired for alternating current, which means that the voltage actually fluctuates in a pattern. Here in the United States, most homes will have a 240 volt alternating current service, but that voltage is actually fluctuating at a frequency of 60 cycles per second. And so the inverter is what converts the direct current from solar into alternating current to match the electric grid. Now, a grid tie inverter, which is what you would need if you're gonna engage in a solar buyback program, the, the grid tie inverter is actually going to match frequency and phase 100% with the power company. Uh, in other words, if you have power coming in from your solar system and you have utility power connected to the house at the same time, the appliances within your house cannot tell the difference uh, of where that electricity is coming from. It looks the same because it's the same voltage, the same frequency, and it's totally in phase. Or think of it, it's, it's like totally, totally synced up. And that's important because your solar production is going to fluctuate throughout the day. You'll have Obviously during the evening, you're not gonna have any sunlight coming in. In the early morning, you'll start having sun, sunlight that hits the solar panels, and therefore you start producing power on your solar panels. In the middle part of the day, in that sort of 12 noon to 1 p.m. window, your solar panels are going to be at peak power. And in most cases, if your solar system is sized properly, you're gonna be selling excess electricity to the power company, building up those net metering credits during your peak production hours. But then as you get later into the afternoon and early evening, the solar production will drop off. And then of course, whatever deficit is needed or, or whatever additional energy needs of the home will just be met by pulling it in from the power company. So when you have a grid tied solar system on a solar buyback, both the utility service and the solar inverter are gonna be feeding the electrical panel at the same time. So it's not like you have to switch back and forth. However, as many of you know who've been following this, many of the utilities are changing their net metering programs now. And of course, the most popular is California with their NEM 3.0. Starting in April of last year, the for-profit utilities in California and many other states are no longer offering a true one-for-one -one buyback. Um, in fact, in California now, we're hearing rates as far as four to one, five to one, or six to one, meaning that during daylight hours, you may have to send them six kilowatt hours of excess electricity for every one unit that you get to pull back during evening hours. And of course, when you lose the one for one net metering rate, it really cuts into your payback on a solar investment. By the way, if you have a power company that recently changed its solar buyback program, where they're cutting the rate that they give you credits for net metering, go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Now, the other option is to install a battery with your solar power system instead of having to sell the excess solar electricity back to the power company. Now, when you have a battery connected with your solar power system, during daylight hours, you can directly power the home with solar power 
and all of your excess electricity can be stored in a battery or in a bank of batteries. Assuming your system is sized properly and you have enough battery storage capacity, all of the excess solar electricity that you would have sold to the power company under a net metering plan could just be charged into your battery instead. And then during evening hours, you can just run the home off the battery and then the next day, the solar panels will take over again and recharge the battery. And you can repeat that cycle day after day after day, essentially only using the power company as the electric provider of last resort. So your primary would be solar during daylight hours, you charge the batteries with excess solar, you run the house off of battery power at nighttime, and then you repeat that cycle as much as possible. Now, if the house demands more electricity than what the batteries can provide, then only in that last resort scenario would you then pull in from the power company. And so really this is, you know, for those of you who are really trying to become totally energy independent, that type of system, which we would call a, a solar with storage, self-consumption system, it, it really puts you in the driver's seat in terms of your home's energy situation. And again, only use the power company as a provider of last resort. By the way, there's many different solar inverter and battery options out there on the marketplace. So if you need some help sorting through the various options, if you haven't seen the previous video on how to choose the best solar battery, um, go back and watch the previous video where I walk you through some of the different features and considerations when looking at a battery storage system for your solar power system. Now, of course, if you'd rather just talk to a solar expert so we can do a full in-depth analysis of your situation and provide the best course of action going forward, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just use the free online calculator tool so you can see how much solar uh, and or a solar with battery storage system will cost in your area. So this has been a discussion of how to sell electricity from solar panels. Uh, again, you need to engage in a solar buyback program program or a solar net metering program, um, or if you want to take advantage of the financial benefits without having to engage in a buyback program, then you just install battery storage with your solar power system. Hey folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed so you can stay up to date with us. Well, that pretty much does it for today's discussion. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.